Hello. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how you can generate 230 volt AC directly from a single solar panel. This is a setup that we are going to use. We have a 330 watt solar panel and we have a device called PSI 330 which is used to generate 230 volt AC output from a solar panel. This is a power strip that we will use in order to connect various appliances to the output of PSI 330. And these are the appliances that we will connect. A 60 watt bulb, a table fan and an LED tube. Let us see how we can set it up. In fact, in order to make this work, all that you have to do is connect the MC4 connectors from the solar panel to the input of PSI 330. Let us do that. I am connecting the MC4 connectors from the solar panel to the input of PSI 330. Well. As soon as we do that, the PSI 330 starts working. You can see that the indicator on the front of PSI 330 starts glowing, indicating that 230 volt AC is now available. Let us switch on various loads and see if they work. Let us start with the 60 watt bulb. I am switching on the 60 watt bulb. Well, it works. And now, let me switch on the table fan. That works too. Incidentally, the output of PSI 330 is purely sinusoidal. So you can run just about any mains appliance on PSI 330. Let us also try the LED tube. I am switching on the LED tube. That works too. As I said, all appliances that work on 230 volt AC will work on PSI 330. The only limitation is that the total power that they consume should not exceed the power that is being generated. For instance, if the solar panel generates 200 watts, the load should not be more than 200 watts. If the load exceeds 200 watts, then the output of PSI 330 automatically trips, indicating that it is getting overloaded. If you reduce the load, it starts working once again. Actually, PSI 330 is grid interactive. That means it is also capable of drawing power from the mains when solar power is not enough. For instance, if the solar panel generates 200 watts and the load is 250 watts, it draws the extra 50 watts that are required from the mains supply. So, the output does not trip even if the load exceeds the solar power. I will demonstrate this in another video. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.